Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy! Okay, in the last part, we've gotten done with everything in the Terrace Dome as we can go through right now. So, without any further ado, let's open up the Bowser stage. Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. Let's go. I shot! Mega Legs Moon. So you've pretty much gotten the basics of here. So the odd number domes, like the odd number domes are going to be Bowser Jr. levels, and the even number domes. Well, only numbers two and four, and not number six, because the sixth one is actually doesn't contain a Bowser stage. Has Bowser has Bowser levels. So let's get to it then. You're facing the wrong way, Mario. <laughs> you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go get him, Mega Leg! Stomp him with the power of your grand star! <laughs> the eyes! They stare into your soul! God. Okay, so what you basically have to do is climb on Mega Leg's leg and avoid the bullet bills and not get stuck with the triple jump. As we go to the brain, of course we do. Just like, just like in pretty much everything, you gotta destroy the brain, or as in this case, zombie. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta lead the bullet bills to that cage right there, which contains the Grand Star. Not really a tough boss, though, because you don't actually get to do anything to the boss, other than just blowing its, like, brain off or something. But, I gotta say, this robot here is, like, pretty evil right here. It's like, it's like, okay. Yeah, the cage just pop open after a while, so, there. Not really a tough boss. Oh no, you destroyed my brain! You got a grand star! Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah! That's going to be my saying. I don't know. And now it's an orange-yellow star? I don't know. flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a power set... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically gotta collect power... Grand stars to restore the power of the comet observatory. And now we've unlocked the map. So now you can look at the map to see... stuff. And also, whenever you're at a dome, you can... Actually, uh, see that guy. Okay, so now we're gonna take on the Hungry Luma mission for the uh, Terrence Dome and Mar! 
are! Okay. I didn't even give you any yet. Anyway, that guy needed 400, so... Here comes suicide number whatever, as he turns into... The sweet, sweet galaxy. Let's go. Rocky Road. Now prepare for a nostalgic attack in three, two, one. Yep, it's the Super Mario Bros. 3 overworld theme, I guess. Or overall 2 theme, I don't know. Anyways, this is a relatively short mission. All you gotta do is just make it to the end. So? And you got all these, uh, cutout things, too. I can't go any further! Don't stop right there! The star is just up ahead! Yeah, whatever. So... We continue to go forth through... Stuff. And more stuff. And I'm doing... Doing stuff. And just we're doing stuff. And the arrow's pointing this way. I have no idea why, but... I gotta stop talking like this, because it's... Getting kind of annoying, okay? And... <laughs> oh my god! Did I seriously just... <laughs> I could've made it through there. But whatever. It's all the game physics fault, okay. So, ow. That thing hurted me! God. This doesn't save me up on time, you know. Okay. Hey, we're going back! Okay. Yay, the Soap Brigade's visi visiting, but I don't care. We gotta start. And we discovered another new galaxy. So, without any further ado, we are now going to start the Fountain Dome, which in the not, which in the uh, some versions it's called the bathroom. I have no idea why, nor I don't care. So anyways, we have enough star power to open up the next galaxies. But I want to start them with the minor galaxy first. The rolling green galaxy. Now this one right here. Rolling in the clouds. This introduces a new type of gameplay. The ball of star. Or as Choco Conway will call it. The lonely. Rolling Star and Mario 3 music again. No, I'm not gonna make any Katamari, Katamari jokes about that. No, I'm gonna use the music. Hey now, do you think I got it? Uh, yeah, old billboard's gonna show you how. So basically, you gotta hold the Wii Remote in the straight up position, and you got to tilt the Wii Remote. Tilt the Wii Remote to move around. And you gotta press A to jump. Yeah, this galaxy can be really fun. Especially if you're grinding up on Star Bits. Now that will be an awesome thing. And for this part, you just gotta flail your weir mode like crazy and make sure you have your wrist strap on. Whee! Mario's rolling. Okay. Just gotta... And I actually like this. The music goes along as you're either going fast or slow. I kind of like it. I mean, they would do the same thing for Galaxy 2, but they also got the rain. They also got the uh, slide music from there too, as well. Uh huh. The people are jerks. Okay, get in back. Whoa, I almost died. Okay, 
Getting back to this spot right here. And I gotta get that question mark block over there. So I can get like star bits galore. And uh, gotta be careful with the Goombas though because they can knock you off to your death even though you clearly can't get hit. Haha, <laughs> you got ignored Goomba. Haha, <laughs> yay. Okay, so that does it for Rolling Green. And let's get our beloved star. Okay, now, get to the major galaxies, the two ones. There's Space Junk Galaxy and... Epic Music Galaxy! I want to go for Epic Music Galaxy first. Nah, it's just called Battle Rock, so let's do this. This is going to be our last mission for this video, though. For this part. So, let's go for Battle Rock Barrage. And prepare yourself for Mario Galaxy music at its best. You know, you just gotta love music like this. I mean... I'm actually now questioning the fact that whether or not this is my favorite song or not. Because you just gotta love how it sounds right here. Okay, so basically you got to go through these things. And whoa, we gravitated like mad. And now we gotta screw this in with the spin. And now we basically got cannons. And Starbit comics, like, or meteorites, programmed to go this way. I don't know. And you can shoot the Starbits at the cannons to get coins if you ever get hit. Ooh, ooh, my favorite part of the song is coming up right here. I'll just be quiet. Awesomeness right there. You know what? The music in this game is phenomenal right here. I mean, yeah. It's got to be some of the best music in the series. And I'm kind of glad, too, because they recycled some things for, for Mario Galaxy 2, like the Gusty Garden theme is in it. The Good Egg Galaxy music is in it. The final level music is in it, too. Okay, so, anyways, what we gotta do now is make make the bullet bills bill follow us, and we gotta break open the cage which contains the star, of course. Of course, that one would be an idiot because I got too far away. Come on, come on, get it, please. I don't have that much time left. Okay, so, anyways. I think I'm just going to stop here. And I'll just get hit. Whatever. Okay, so next time on this game, let's play Super Mario Galaxy. We are going to continue the Fountain Dome. So, we got a star. See you guys next time. There's actually something I could have left out. It seems that a prince to come and disappeared somewhere. Pranks are coming to very strange effects. Yeah, so next time we're going to be going for the Prankster Comet, actually. See you guys next time.